Hey, I'm back and today I'm kind of bored so let's make something. Also check this hat out. Hey. Hey, so today I'm going to be taking you on my process on how I turn leather straps from old sandals into a jewel leather case slash holder. So these are my sketches. Yes, I know. They're pretty fucking lit. Thank you. So now I'm putting the pattern down on my material, which is my leather straps. I'm just gonna cut this out. I'm not really into measuring for like the second time. I just do it right the first time and just pattern it. So it's going to look a little like, no, a lot like this one. I know this is not the blue one, but this is the original one that I made and it turned out pretty well. That's why I'm showing it. So this next part is just me putting the pattern and doing it all over again on a flat piece of leather like the ones that you could actually buy in the store. So I made a bunch of these. I bulk cut everything the other day. I don't know how many I made. I just know it's a lot. Anyway, I might do a giveaway but that depends. This part I explained fully at the end because it's a little more technical and I can't really explain it very fast. But the idea is just to make a nice thing. <laughs> so what you see me doing here now is just putting in the eyelet. And I don't really have tools for that so I just improvised. I don't even have a hammer. So anyway, this is the finished product. And no, that is not my device. I just borrowed it. Thank you for attending my concert. I love rapping. As I said, I made a bunch of these and you're going to see magic. Yes. It is now sewn together and now I'm gonna put the chain. Yes, I am a magician and that's it. So yeah, that took about two to three months of planning, the sketching and stuff and I'm not much of a drawer but I think I did pretty well. So I'm gonna show you the materials you need first. So the first one is your leather. So originally I used um, old leather straps from sandals, like the shoe sandals. I didn't really need them and I didn't want to see them, so I just turned them into a jewel holder. But if you don't have that, you can always buy online, like the really cheap ones that are like the samples. So I got this one. It's like a crocodile PU leather type. Um, it's thin, but it does the job. It's really nice. So the next one would be a keychain. Or just any regular type of keychain that you want to use, depending on how you want to use them. But for me, I decided on getting this one because it's just practical. So you're gonna need these types of keychains. And you're going to need eyelets. Eyelets are basically metal holes. <laughs> so here is like a sample of the eyelet. A needle and a thread. Make sure to match your thread to your material. This is optional but I find it worked best for these types of leather projects so you just need wax. This is so that you can wax your threads. Preferably beeswax but I don't have beeswax nor do I have the time to go out so I just use the ones that I have at home and it's this one. It's just a birthday candle so and yeah, I think that's basically all you need except for the other tools like... Um, oh, yeah. I have this tool oval <laughs> from Miniso that only costs 99 pesos. I swear, this is my favorite possession. Anyway, for leather projects, I usually use the one that looks like a fork or like a two-prong thing for making marks on my leather in a straight line as a guide for sewing so that everything is even. I watch a lot of crafting videos so you know, you just gotta improvise if you don't have the tools like this one. So I wanted to show you some of the sketches that I made from before and 
I used um, the exact measurements of the jewel from online, and then I also used the measurements that I got from the jewel device itself. I mean, it's not bad, right? Those are the exact measurements. I even made a prototype. So anyway, if you want to get your hands on a jewel case like this one, you can either follow the video. I know it's pretty crappy, but you can always ask me questions. Or if you already want one that's made, just message me here or on Instagram and I'll just give you one. Or you know, you could just buy one from me. Thanks! I'm going to be showing you how you can DIY your own jewel leather case with zero to no 